everyone doing? Now, for my first vlog, and I'm very, very excited to, to share this with you because I've been getting a bunch of requests about this, I will be showing you my daytime skincare routine. So, personally, I have been switching my skincare routine for the past um, five years, but it's only recently that I've been getting into clean beauty or I've been trying to get into clean beauty. So, what clean beauty means is that all products are made with natural, raw ingredients and um, that the products have not been tested on animals and does not use any animal products which only means that the products are gentle on your skin and the possibility of like your products having irritants is very very low so i start off by putting my hair back with a hair pan tapos i use the garnier micellar cleansing water um, this step i usually do before I shower, but I decided to do it after just for the sake of showing you guys. I put it on a cotton pad and I just cleanse my face. Um, what this does is it removes the excess dirt and like the residue from the night creams from the night before. The Body Shop Oils of Life Cleanser. So this product comes out um, with a gel-like texture. Now what I like to do is I like to warm it up with my fingers before I actually apply it to my face. I like massaging it all over my face. Like so. <laughs> and then my favorite part about this product is once in contact with water, it turns into a milky foam. You can see that, like there's a bit of lather over there. So we're gonna just cleanse that off with water. I usually don't like having excess product on my skin, like whatever it is, even if it's like a cleanser. Unless it's like a toner or a moisturizer, but like face with like facial scrubs and like cleansers, I usually don't like excess product on my skin. Um, I dry off my I don't rub on my skin. I really just pat dry my skin. This way, we lessen the friction on the face. Next is we're gonna tone our face. So again, with a cotton pad, take your toner. I particularly use the Thayer's Witch Hazel Facial Toner. And I just ever so lightly put that on my face with a cotton pad. Um, just remember that anything you put on your face, you also have to put in your neck and to be gentle on your skin because friction causes wrinkles. Next step is I moisturize and I like using the Body Shop Drops of You Youth Cream. So, just... And on it. Moroccan Argan Oil. I just put that at the back of my hand. And you guys, this smells so good. Like, warm it up on your hands once again and just, just pat that right in. So your skin absorbs all the minerals. And like what I like to do is if like there's any excess on my hands, I like to pat that on my chest too. Why in this area? Just a little side note, you guys. On the days when um, I'm going out of the house and I want a little bit of coverage on my face, just a little, little bit of coverage, I use the Josie Moran Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47 Protect and Perfect. And I skip the Swiss made Argan Oil because it's basically the same thing. This is just like a bit tinted. So since we didn't use the Josie Moran Argan Oil Protect and Perfect um, Daily Moisturizer, we need some type of SPF. Even if we're just gonna be in the house, we need SPF. So I'm using the Clarins UV Plus Anti-Pollution Ecron Multi-Protection Broad Spectrum with SPF 47. You have to be careful with this, guys, because um, the consistency is kind of watery. And But I like that the most about the product since I already have like base oils on like 
I don't need an SPF that's too heavy on the skin. Be generous. Always remember to be generous with your SPF and to lather it. <laughs> lather it on your neck as well. Because your neck needs some love, you guys. It needs love too. Not just a um, skin on your face. So the last step to our daytime skincare routine is our eye cream. And I like using the Shiseido Ultra Immune Eye Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. If there's one thing I regret, it's that I didn't start on my eye cream much early on in my life. I'm 25 years old and I found out that like fine lines and wrinkles start to appear on our faces as early as 21 years old. So use your eye cream you guys. And I think it's important that when you apply eye cream, you don't just rub through the area because the skin around the eyes are, isn't, isn't as um, elastic. I don't even know if that's the right word, but it isn't, it doesn't handle friction as well as the skin on the rest of your face. So just pat that on and like put a bit of the brow on. So a great tip for you guys, since everyone's been asking me how I keep my skin on the body while moisturized, is to use an all-natural virgin coconut oil. You can get this at any like Whole Foods store or even like the supermarket. Just put some on your hand, and again, warm the product using your hands. Warm up the product using your hands, and just. Put it on your skin. So, here's a quick recap of the products that I use for my daytime skincare routine. The Garnier Micellar Water helps remove skin impurities. I specifically use the pink one because this one is alcohol free, which means it won't dry out the skin. Moving on to cleanser, I use the Body Shop Oil Supplies Cleanser. <laughs> It has a gel consistency which turns into a light milk consistency once in contact with water. Next, I use the Ayers Witch Hazel Facial Toner. What it does is it removes any residue left on the skin and it shrinks the pores. Now for my daily moisturizer, I use the Body Shop Drops of Hair with Youth Cream. Argan oil has anti-sebum effects. It can help regulate the amounts of sebum on the skin, which means it can treat acne. The Josie Maron Protect and Perfect with SPF 47 is 100% my holy grail product. I love how this is so lightweight yet at the same time so effective in fighting aging and dryness. What I like about this product specifically is it does not leave a white cast on the skin. Sunscreen shields the skin from harmful UV rays. The sun does more damage to our skin than we think. Not only does SPF prevent the depletion of collagen in our skin, it also prevents skin cancer. The Shiseido Ultra Immune Eye Power Infusing Eye Concentrate strengthens the skin to prevent dark circles, wrinkles, and dryness around the eye area. This product also enhances anything you put on top of it, so I make sure I apply an extra coat of whatever face oil I'm using that day. So there you go guys, that's my daytime skincare routine and always remember that everyone's skin is different so you really have to take the time and experiment about what works for you. Have a regular skincare routine that is suited for your skin type and then treat, your pro treat yourself to these products at least every once in a while. Cleansers which promise to fight acne works by shifting the skin's pH level just a little bit so this process should take about a couple of weeks. Anything that promises to give your skin an instant effect is probably just gonna work at the most superficial level. Always remember that nothing happens overnight. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't be using these products. All I'm saying is this should be viewed more like the icing on top of the cake. With any skincare routine, it's important to understand that some products like acne treatment and hyperpigmentation take time, while others like moisture moisturizers and products which contain hyaluronic acid shut pretty much even the skin out and moisturize the skin pretty quickly. My best advice would have to be to try to stick to clean beauty as much as possible to prevent damage on your skin. Your skin is the body's largest organ, so treat it with love and respect. 
Healthy and beautiful skin brings us happiness. But always remember that confidence is the most beautiful thing that you can wear. So that is it for my daytime skincare routine. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Last Trisha.